Number 25, Sun Jamin, a Sun Yacht, is a spacecraft with a large sail that is pushed by sunlight. Although such a push is tiny in everyday circumstances, it can be large enough to send the spacecraft outward from the sun on a cost-free but slow trip. Suppose that the spacecraft has a mass of 900 kilograms and receives a push of 20 newtons. Letter A, what is the magnitude of the resulting acceleration? If the craft starts from rest, letter B, how far will it travel in one day? And letter C, how fast will it then be moving? So the first thing that we have to find is the acceleration of the spacecraft. So let's remember that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So acceleration is equal to force over mass. The force in this case is 20 newtons and mass is 900 kilograms. So if we do this calculation over here, we would find 0 0.022 meters per square second. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to know how far we will travel in one day. So let's remember that if the acceleration is constant, x is equal to xO plus vOt plus at squared over 2. We can say that the initial position is 0, so let's cross this term out. Uh, the, the spacecraft starts from rest, so v0 is equal to 0. So the position is equal to the acceleration t squared over 2. We already have the acceleration, so we have to find t, which is one day. So in one day, we, ha we have 24 hours. And in one hour, we have 60 minutes. And in 60 minutes, we have 60 seconds. So this is equal to 86,400 seconds. So this is T. Okay, so we can replace the letter by the number. So X is equal to 0 0.022 times 86,400. And don't forget to square this number. And this is over 2. And the answer is 8.3 times 10 to the seventh meters. Okay, so that's the letter of letter B. That's the answer of letter A. That's the answer of letter B. Letter C, how fast will it be, be moving? So let's remember that if the acceleration is constant, we can say that V is equal to VO plus AT. So the initial velocity is zero, so this goes away. So V is equal to the acceleration, which is that one, 0 0.022 times T, which is this one over here. So 86 and 400, and this is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the third meters per second. And that's the answer of this exercise.